addition to my heavyweight sumo that I'm making for the Nash Robotics Challenge, I'm going to be building two mini sumos. And uh, so I took out some foam board and paper and have been mocking up different design ideas that I may try to build. Uh, so this is the prototype that I've settled on. And uh, as you can see, it is basically just a box. But it has two wheels, one on each of the uh, pushing surfaces. And uh, these wheels will be rotating upward and hopefully make contact with an opponent robot to lift them up and help to push them out of the ring. Uh, a lot of the opponent robots from last year did not use steeply angled wedges. They used just vertical uh, pushing faces or slightly angled scoops. And I think that uh, these wheels will make good contact because they're very grippy. Um, the rest of the robot, though, is pretty typical. I've got... Uh, just metal gear motors that I bought from Ro Robot Marketplace driving these Bainbots uh, grippy wheels. I've made my own hubs from shape lock plastic. If you are building robots and haven't heard of that, just buy a bag. It's this material that you can heat up and shape into any part that you need and it's very very strong. So I'm using those for my hubs um, on the drive wheels as well as the hubs in these wheels. The rest of the components are just things that I had lying around. I'm using Solar Robotics GM3 gear motors to drive the front and back wheels and those are being controlled by a cheap remote control airplane speed controller. The uh, speed controller for the drive wheels is a Sabertooth 20 amp speed controller and all of these are being controlled by a six channel servo controller made by Cheap Control Systems and that is tethered to a PlayStation 2 remote. In the end though, that board will be being replaced with an Arduino microcontroller that will uh, receive its inputs from four uh, infrared sensors at all of the corners. Back to the outside, I am hoping to come up with a magical material that will make this robot invisible or nearly invisible to both the ultrasonic and infrared range sensors that opponent robots use. Right now I'm still experimenting, but I'm looking at some dark or uh, very black foam materials that will absorb a lot of sound and also not reflect much light. Hopefully that will make my robot hard to detect. Um, and then on the bottom I've got my battery mounted right below my drive motors and this is an attempt to keep the center of gravity low and also right in line with the drive wheels because I'll probably end up having caster wheels on the front and back and any weight that's over those wheels is pretty much wasted weight.